Hi there, and welcome to another episode of my journey to Platinum. I'm Aiken, and tonight we're going to do some Garen. I'm up against Trundle, and he's going to be a pretty tough nut to crack, in my opinion. But we're going to look how this worked out. Uh, I picked Yasuo. Uh, he was last pick. I was second pick. I wanted to be a nice guy, but I actually pr would have preferred some Swain top lane here. Because we're all AD, that might come in. This might become a problem, but we're gonna see. He didn't. He didn't react when I asked him for a Swain, so gotta go for Garen now. Mm. First thing again, gonna mute all these guys because if you're chatting, you're not paying attention to the game. If you're not paying attention to the game, you're most likely gonna gonna lose. So, I don't want to know anything about this chat. I think the in-game chat is one of the most overrated tools in the game because uh, the smart pings pretty much uh, do everything you need, you know? You can communicate with those way faster than going for uh, chat communication. And look, turns out they bashed down the Listen, it's always nice if your team scores in the first blood like that. Alright, so as you might have noticed, this series is a lot about top lane. I'm a very passionate top lane player, and I feel like it's my best position here to win the game. So far, I don't want to hit these creeps. I don't want to let the lane push towards me uh, against, against the trundle, I mean. But... He's still not here. It's super late and he lost a lot of creeps. Right now we'll only take last hits if possible, but it's gonna be a remake. That would be pretty annoying. The last game I tried to play tonight was a uh, super lag fiesta. The game got terminated after a few uh, moments. So I'm gonna level up my W a second. Because if I get ganked pretty early, and that might happen with Lee Sin, uh, I have an extra damage resistance buff available, and that's something I want to have. I'm trying to hit the Trundle with some Qs, but he knows he, he's at a disadvantage. And that's why I want to pressure him as much as I can. Although, this lane is pushing towards him, and I can't change much about that. I killed off the, er, the creeps too early, and our Yasuo goes down. No, Yasuo. Give him a bonk. Alright. Trying to hit him as much as possible. And there's Lisa. But, turns out, he got this. That's pretty cool. So, I really like to go for a uh, full damage Garen, but I'm not, not too sure if this is the proper play here. I don't know yet. But with Lee Sin being dead for the moment, I can go a bit more aggressive. Trying to push Trundle into his turret, but after that, I think I'm gonna go for a first back. Because chances are Lee Sin's gonna try his luck again. At least I am the best lane to gank for now. And oh, there's a siege wave coming in, so I'm pretty safe. Picking up a few resources, didn't use a single pot so far. And Trondle pushes pretty hard. I'm gonna lose some CS, but. With those items, I will have a good advantage on this guy, and he's pushing the lane in my turret, so... This should be a good spot to fight. And if stuff goes on like that, I will enjoy this control ward, providing me a lot of safety. But I really need to hurry, because I want to have this cannon. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So there's a huge wave coming towards me here. 
no reason not to bonk him. I'm Garen, I love to go for three levels of my Q and then going for the W. Alright, so he dropped down his E in my face. Chunked me some, but I don't care too much here. Can't do too much to him. He's regener regenerating a lot and overall Trundle is a pretty resilient enemy. And I focus mainly on the CS right now because I can't heal this up. And under maturity won't be able to kill me that easily. And I have a lot of uh, potions left. But turns out our Yi executed himself on the crooks. It's a bit bad because uh, Trundle now knows that I'm vulnerable. But that's okay. So he can't kill me like that. And he knows this. And with my passive I heal this up pretty decently. Alright, I'm 6 now. That's some kill potential. But he's 6 too. I want to heal up some more before I go into a fight with this dude. Just farming, taking some safety, because right now if he would clunk me into a corner or something with the pillar, that would be in some trouble here. Hey, nice turret shot, mate. I want to have this creep, man. Pop my W to mitigate some of the damage here. He's ooh. Ah, there's his flash. He knew that I could could have uh, spa uh, spin into him and then ult him. So that was a good move for me. Very cheap, very very cheap bought a uh, flash from him. So the top three priorities to win a game are: don't die, because dying is really bad. Number two, take CS as much as possible if you can more than the enemy. We achieved that right now. And point three, make kills and take objectives. It's really that order because dying is at spot one. Because dying is kind of like the worst thing that can happen to you. If you're dead, you can't get, take control of the map. You can't influence the game. You're not there. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? But I really want to point it out because it's that dangerous to be dead and turns out I really need to all right let's go I want to TP into this let's go there we go it was a good TP I didn't want to uh, give Jin the chance to lantern into this Oof. This grab burns my eyes, <laughs> but hey, they did, did a good job here overall, so I don't want to be salty here. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm picking up. No, I'm not picking up this. I want to have some potions and another control here. So with this phage and the tier 2 boots, I'm really fast. And I can chase this Trundle pretty good, and I can also avoid him pretty good. He has no boot yet, so I have a lot more mobility than him. And this is certainly useful. Also, when I get ganked by the Lee Sin, this makes me, this makes dodging his Q a lot easier. And the Tabai protect protect me from the onslaught here as well. So that's the strategizing here. And he's picking up my control board, but that's okay. I have another one in my pocket. So this TP down there at bot should have helped a lot, I think. So Heimerdinger and Yasuo killed themselves, killed, the, killed each other. And this is the power here. There's not much you can do about that. I 
Isn't it beautiful? But overall, we're taking similar amounts of damage. One good thing about Garen is that his passive regeneration won't be turned off by uh, taking damage from creeps, so you can easily uh, freeze your lane while you're playing Garen. You can face tank these a bit and take some damage. Calling the SS, because for a moment I was thinking he might have went for mid, but no, he's not. So I'm gonna slow down my push again, because I wanna have, I wanna get his minions to do as much damage as possible against my minions here, to deny him somewhat. But problem here is we're both uh, pretty regenerative, so I don't see us killing each other too soon unless somebody makes a mistake. But he's playing very, very careful here and missing out a lot of CS. Just popping my W. He, he will lose the trade when your W is up. But don't fight if your W is not up. That's really important. So I'm really going to be careful about this situation right now. You can bonk and then run away because you will have a speed buff after that. But yeah, we're not we're not hurting each other here too much. So let's just farm these up. Maybe when I have my cleaver online. So all right, he he TPs. No, he doesn't. Just pushing this hard into him because. For some reason he's playing this very, very slowly and not pushing at all. And yeah, I should utilize, capitalize on that. Just scaring him a bit, trying to deny him some CS, but that doesn't work too good. It's okay. Overall I'm farming better than him and my farm is, my team is winning pretty hard, so... Now, this is not making too much difference if I'm here or not. I can only ward myself pretty decently here, and so I think in a longer fight he will win but at this point with the ultimate and everything. I really don't understand why he's that afraid of me. He shouldn't be. He's an advantage here. So, but it's always cool if your enemy doesn't doesn't take his chances. That's lower elo, you know. I'm not playing too well here either, but definitely. Uh, can I? I really try to uh, make him lose CS on every wave to punish him for his uh, coward plays here. Because he's really playing super careful here. He, he, does, he wouldn't need to play that careful. But he's not even trying to uh, evade me here, most surprisingly. I expect some gank pretty soon. Um, running around here that long. But I still have some ward. It's gonna run out soon. I don't want to run onto the turret because he can pillar me there. That's pretty, pretty rough if that happens. Yeah, exactly. If you're standing wrong, you're getting hammered into the turret, and it's pretty horrible if it happens. All right, ye. Let's dive. Oh no. All right. I, I didn't use my ult here. There was no reason to use my ult here. Mm, I think I need to flash his next Q. Nah, don't do it, man. Alright. So... 
We had to take some measures here. Because he would have killed my Yi. But this game is pretty over. It's a very short episode, I think. Turns out it was a good decision to give this man his Yi. Uh, his Yasuo. He's doing a lot out of it. Yeah, there we go. So. Uh, I don't know if I want to upload this, but I'm still going to do it for for completion of the series. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this next game will get more exciting.